What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got a Guitar Hero Rock Band DJ Hero DDR Mega Touch Emulation and Arcade Build going out to Principal C. Yes, it is on an external drive. And yes, I have officially moved on to LaunchBox Big Box. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm changing that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yes, controller works on the menu. <laughs> Alright guys, you know Joe, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. There's a link tree link down below. I am a broken record, I know, but there are some new viewers here. So you can go down to the link tree link. You'll see all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about me moving on to LaunchBox Big Box. Yes, it's uh, been a long time coming. I still have to make my official video based on my 44 terabyte Ultimate Arcade. Uh, it's just I'm, I'm kind of just being lazy making that video, but Hey, also be sure to check out my live streams. I'm playing video games. I am getting back into actual gaming. So what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials and on YouTube. Go, follow, do it now or after. After we rock out, be sure to hit that button. <laughs> all right, this one I'm excited for. Again, I got my buddy Principal C. Principal C is an awesome dude. Um, always big supporter, big time supporter. Uh, he reached out to me and he said, hey Vic man, I'm looking for a Guitar Hero DDR DJ Hero Drive. If you know me, I normally don't do drives. He did see, obviously, my House of Rock dedicated shooter, DJ Hero, Guitar Hero, Dance Dance Revolution. If you don't know DDR, Dance Dance Revolution. I have my arcade cabinet downstairs. And uh, he basically said, hey, Vic, I want that, but if you could put it in a drive form, that would help me out. He's got a couple of drives from me. Um, like I did give him uh, a Switch drive uh, and something else, I forgot. It's been a while. Principal C is an awesome dude. He's been a long time viewer and a great customer. And this is probably gonna be the last thing he'll request because he's basically almost got everything minus 44 terabytes worth of games. Um, these are awesome. Guitar Hero, shout out to my buddy Joel Retro Lizard. He is banging out Guitar Hero cabinets. Um, it's all, it's all, it's awesome. It's great. Uh, Joel right now, I don't know if he's going, he is actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop myself. He is moving on to like building an actual DDR dance cabinet. Like that's going to be wild when he gets that done. But for right now, if you've seen my build, I do have my, you know, the plastic pads that you can find on like Amazon that go USB in. Um, again, if you watch me like on my live streams and all that, I do mention like my dedicated shooter cab. Mostly shooting going on on that and not much like DDR. That's why I went with like the cheap $30 DDR pads. It does the job. My three-year-old loves it. But as far as the guitars though, I am still using Raffnets. Um, I think they're great. I really have nothing against them. But stay tuned on another video. I'm going to show you something that my buddy Eric, Big E Productions, yes, the metal guy, the guy that does make my custom lockdown bar and side rails for V-pins and all, uh, he also modifies Guitar Hero guitars. And he sent me one. So I'm gonna definitely make a video on that. Thanks again to Eric. His also like lights up. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you're not a fan of the whole raft net, again, a raft net, this right here, it's a USB going to a Wii controller. So this technically is a Wii Guitar Hero controller. Amazon has USB Guitar Hero controllers. Uh, and also Eric, he does the custom one with his custom like USB interface. I don't know the exact terminology, but you have quite a few things. Now me, as far as I have my dedicated shooter cabinet, I've had the wife's friends over, I had a couple of my friends over, and I'll be honest, the big plus side, especially, I mean, I would assume that maybe Eric has it, I don't know. Um, the big plus side to this at least is I've had a couple of people that actually kind of rock out so hard that they forget that they're connected to an arcade cabinet. So they wind up walking away from the cabinet, but luckily the raft net just disconnects. 
So I've yet to have any USB pull outs. Um, that's probably a big pro when it comes to the RAF nets. Now, I remember a while back, it was kind of difficult to even get RAF nets. So I don't really know this current status, but yeah, as far as what I use on my personal cabs, it's a Wii Guitar Hero guitar and the RAF net. Now, another pro to the RAF net, you could use the DJ Hero controller. Yes, this does work. My only thing I have to do for my specific DJ Hero controller, I have to open it up. Whenever I do the spin, it's not totally registering every time. I believe there's like a lens here and I have to probably clean it. Um, other than that, DJ Hero does work. Using Dolphin emulation, it works. It's, you could adjust the sensitivity and the dead zone. It's just as I play this, I'm like not connecting and hitting stuff. That's cool, look, that's the mega touch. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, Principal C wanted a couple of things and he did want to add mega touch to this drive. Now I also do have Clone Hero on this. Shout out to B Kong. I did add Step Mania for Principal C. And the other thing is, yes, I do have Rock Band on this. Utilizing Dolphin, it does work. Only one I ran into an issue with was Rock Band 1. It's looking for a microphone. There is something called a ZDIAG kind of driver that you're supposed to download. On my personal build, it works. Um, it's just like, once you get into this whole external drive thing, which I'm gonna talk about, hey Vic, are you selling drives now? I, I don't know really, I don't really know the official answer to that. Um, it's just something you gotta install and it takes a couple of steps to get everything dialed in. So right now, Rock Band 1, I do have it on the wheel, but it doesn't work, meaning it'll launch the game, but it's gonna say, hey, where's your microphone? Insert your microphone, and then you'll have to exit out. But all in all, it's pretty cool. It is my first ever external drive going out to Principal C, and it is running LaunchBox Big Box. Now, the biggest thing, I'm gonna get an influx, I already know. Hey Vic, I wanna drive, I wanna drive. You can still message me, we could talk about that. The only big thing is you gotta keep in mind when it comes to this LaunchBox Big Box, I do not give you the license. This is big box. You need a license for big box. That's not gonna happen in this situation. He will have launch box, will be kind of like the basic user interface. This is kind of the beautiful front end, which is big box. You do need a license for that. You do that on your end where you pay launch box, big box directly. They send you the license code and then you can just put it into the main drive. But all in all, yes, it's a big, it's a big jump to launch box, big box and uh, like I said, I still have to make a video on my 44 terabyte build. Um, I probably should have done it sooner. <laughs> but granted, it's gone through a lot of evolution. So the way LaunchBox is right now, it is a thumbs up in my books. All right, so let's get into it. Let's do some gameplay footage. I was on Rock Band before, so I might as well go to Rock Band just to kind of show it off. Uh, all right, whatever, we'll launch Rock Band 2. Now, just keep in mind, Gameplay footage, people want to see gameplay. Obviously, there will be parts and segments where it will be muted. I don't want to get hit with copyright infringement. But as you can see, I was able to control the front end with the guitar. So that you can kind of set up inside of settings. Um, originally, it's really set for like an Xbox controller. I would still recommend Principal C to have a keyboard and mouse handy. You don't really need the mouse, but have a keyboard handy. Because uh, right now to escape, to exit, I didn't set up like a button. I think I could set up a button combo. So if I could do like start, uh, maybe like the plus and the minus, a lot of things. Also keep in mind, again, this is the biggest thing when it comes to drives. Plug and play, I'm I, will, I will always say it's never plug and play. Uh, Rock Band, you can't like skip these like intros. So that's what it is. The controller is connected, don't worry. Um, what was I going with that? Uh, it, I always say it's never plug and play, so you will most likely have to go into like the emulators and adjust and such. So, like I said, you might hear some audio cutting out. Luckily, I'm recording separately from the actual PC, so that should be A-OK. -okay. I was playing some of this and Guitar Hero, and I'm like, damn, I'm 34 years old and I don't have what I used to have in me. Uh, <laughs> because I just kind of suck. And then also, not to mention, uh, Medium? is like insane. So we could at least put our name in, we could do some BS here, choose a nickname, awesome. Connecting to the Wi-Fi, it's gonna ignore that obviously. And yes, whatever, we could do Eye of the Tiger, why not? Some iconic stuff. 
you can pick your guitar. Now, like I said, when I was playing, even on Guitar Hero, um, I think I have to be on easy, because medium adds, the, like, it's all four fingers for medium. Uh, I'm gonna go to easy first, and then we'll bump it up to uh, medium. I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm old. I can't even play this like I used to. <laughs> now again, I am right now OBS screen grab recording. So I'm not doing an external PC. Uh, I'm not using like my Elgato. That was my fault. So at least you can kind of see it. Also keep in mind with these type of games, you have to also sometimes, not all the games, you got the whammy bar. Good, you can see me. Oh, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> um, some of the options on these games, it does have like an option to adjust, I missed it. Adjust like the timing and like the video. So if you do see like, hey, my notes aren't matching up, damn it. <laughs> my notes aren't matching up to the screen, then you could run the calibration. Every game has that, so there it goes. Awesome, like I said, I'm right now playing on easy. I'm pretty sure if I go to medium, it's gonna add a bunch of like buttons and all that. So that sucks that in this one, I can't actually change the difficulty. Usually on Guitar Hero, I could do that. We'll launch the same game and uh, we'll run it on medium. All right, so rocking the same song, guitar, and we're gonna go into medium on this. It's actually funny, while I was doing my testing, cause I'm very big on testing and making sure ROMs launch and stuff, I was playing like Green Day for like one or two songs. I would say one song, a full song. And it's kind of like, if you look away from the screen, everything just starts to float. It's like, whoa. <laughs> All right, now keep in mind, uh, I know gameplay is big, so I'm gonna try to do my best. Also keep in mind, this is on an, an external drive. I've always said it in the past, you are bottlenecking this right now. There's data flowing through a USB cable to get this to work. What am I getting at? I usually like to have my files on the PC. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I like to have my files directly on the PC. I'm not a fan of externals, but sometimes it works. And also I said, some people say, hey, I wanna make sure, damn it. I wanna make sure like, you know, is it all synced up? Am I experiencing any lag? Am I experiencing any stutter? There's a couple things to that. Your PC, I'm not saying you need an amazing PC, but you can't have a potato. Maybe usually plugging this into like USB 3.0 is a good idea. Using maybe an SSD instead of a standard hard disk drive, external drive like I'm using here. I use Western Digital usually. Uh, Seagate is last resort. But as you can see, not bad. I'm able to hit it and we're good. Awesome. And as you can see, uh, I don't have a keyboard uh, or controller command to exit. I gotta see if I could set a combo, but having your keyboard hand, you hit escape and it will exit and bring you back into the front end. Like I said, keep in mind, this is bottlenecking. You're asking a lot of data to be transferred from the drive to your screen and such. So yeah, Rock Band 2, there you go. All right, so enough rock band, let's launch into some Guitar Hero, why not? Keep in mind, Guitar Hero, I have two emulators. I have Dolphin, which is Wii, and PS2. There are like two or three PS2 exclusive Guitar Hero games. I believe, for example, right here is The Rocks uh, in the 80s and Guitar Hero 2. So we're gonna press the green button and we'll launch Guitar Hero 2. Now, a little fun fact, if you are looking to do this and if you're having some trouble, we are swapping a lot of controllers here. You could do Guitar Hero, you could do DJ Hero, and to alleviate the stress, you should actually do multiple emulators. So for example, Dolphin, I have Dolphin DDR, Dolphin Guitar Hero, and Dolphin DJ Hero. I have three separate emulations or emulators uh, for Dolphin. PS2, I have PS2 DDR, and PS2 Guitar Hero. So I don't wanna say like, you know, controls are flawless and it's plug and play. It will never be that. Uh, but basically what I'm getting at is in case principal C has to go and change controls, you go into emulators and you'll see the specific emulator. So if you're trying to do Wii Guitar Hero, that's under Dolphin Guitar Hero. Uh, and yes, keep in mind, yes, I do have multiplayer. So in this instance here, I do have two guitars. So you can see there, I'm not even touching it. I am moving it. That's on player two. I'm not gonna 
should I do the dance? Shall I do the dance? I might as well do the dance. I'm already here. We'll go into multiplayer. Uh, we'll do some co-op. I should have done face-off, honestly, probably. Uh, this game specifically, I almost did um, message in a bottle. And the intro is like forever. Uh, yeah, we're doing easy. <laughs> you guys want some two-player action? Yes, we're going to have to do that. So this one, like I said, I could go to player two. It's off screen, but it is there. We're good. We're ready to rock. Awesome. We're going to do some two-player action now. Again, Guitar Hero 2, PS2 emulation. So PCSX2. I am on the newest updated build. That was also a big deal when I was doing the whole uh, launch box switch. I updated all my emulators. So you can see there, my buttons are there. It looks like player one is first. So player one, you can see there, and then player two. Uh, this is going to be rough. You guys are crazy. There you go. There you go. So two players right there. Let me save my sanity. Maybe I could rock out with one player. I can't really tell. I was actually contemplating like which one plays better, the PS2 or Dolphin. I'll be honest, they all play very good. So there you go. Guitar Hero, multiplayer, rock band, multiplayer. Yes, 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 it's all there. Now real quick, same thing. I could just press escape and it will bring me back to the front end. People like to see that. They like to see that you could escape and then it brings you back to the front end. So that's a big deal. I have the guitars like leaned up so it went to like game search, but no worries. Uh, let's launch, just for hell of it, we will launch DJ Hero. So I probably won't cut this part out, but that's A-OK. -okay. We'll do some DJ Hero. You could do DJ Hero 1 and 2. Like I said, keep in mind though, please, my DJ Hero controller, if I try to spin the record, it doesn't work. That's my personal hardware issue right there. Um, I kind of don't remember which one is player one, so let's just take this. Hopefully this is RafNet, and hopefully you can kind of see me. You can still see me, hopefully, yes. So DJ Hero controller here, it's got like the Wii port here. And hopefully if all is well, it should work. Normally, I like to have everything connected before I launch the emulator. So that's usually a good thing. So like right now, it's not registering, but maybe that's because I have player two RafNet. Let's not do any cuts. There is ways to alleviate this. You could basically kind of mark your RafNet. Or again, it might be because I launched the emulator or the game without the controller connected. So let's just see. Nope, I was on player two. So there you go. It does work. Again, right here, this motion here, it, it's not registering fully. So it's not an emulation issue. It is literally this specific one. I have to open it up. But DJ Hero, when I did my um, House of Rock cab, my brother went nuts for it. So you can see here, I'm controlling it. We're going left, we're going right. We could do the green. My brother was going nuts with DJ Hero. It was actually very cool. So we're gonna continue this. I was like in tutorial phase. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to have this on the, on the table, but crossfader works, your euphoria button works. Again, dolphin emulation for DJ Hero. Uh, I feel like this is the best flawless way to play it. I'm gonna press skip. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, we're gonna make sure the buttons. Also, my green is sticking. Again, this is not, this is specifically to my DJ Hero controller here. The taps, we're gonna learn the taps. Yeah, we're gonna skip. This guy talks a lot. That's what sucks about DJ Hero 1, the tutorial. So you can see there, I'm pushing the buttons. And... Awesome. It's good. Trust me, it works. As you can see before, like I have two raft nets in, so it's like which one is player one, which one is player two. I, I don't think, well, I'm gonna let it rock. I'm gonna try to activate my spin. But again, as you go into Dolphin and you do your button test, you could test the actual, you know, turntable scratching. I have to open this up. I've, I'm, I don't wanna be a broken record, but I am a broken record. Cause also my green button is sticking. But yeah, DJ Hero, that's again, like I said, that's the plus side to having RafNet connectors. So I basically could have two 
USBs permanently coming out of my Guitar Hero dedicated shooter cabinet. And that'll be strictly for Guitar Hero and DJ Hero, not for like guns and such. But yeah, it, it works out. It's awesome. There's your tutorial, awesome stuff. Again, people like to see this. I'm gonna have awkward pauses, but whatever. People like to see that you could escape and it's gonna bring you right back to the front end. I don't have my DDR control, so I'm not gonna embarrass myself here. I am actually controlling the front end with this, so that's pretty cool. My red button is the back. My D-pad is up and down. That's pretty cool. Looks like my up is kind of broken on mine, but not bad. <laughs> there you go. Uh, again, D, uh, DDR. Let's take a look real quick at DDR. Uh, DDR, I have several. I have the GameCube, PS2. Um, I believe I have PS1, and I believe I have Dreamcast. Uh, quite a lot. It's pretty cool. And again, LaunchBox, Big Box with the attract mode. It's very cool. I like the attract mode now on Big Box. You kind of see it almost gives you the vibe of hyperspin. But what's really cool is that if you leave it alone, it's gonna spin. It'll go into a menu and then it will kind of play one or two games in the menu. It's gonna go back to the main menu and then spin. It's pretty cool. Again, I don't have a DDR dance pad. Definitely 100,000%. Principal C is gonna have to go into the emulators and adjust his controls. Every DDR pad is different. I use the Amazon foldable cheap ones. Um, but yeah, there you go. Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, Mega Touch emulation. I could do that real quick. Um, again, people are gonna be like, what? Why is that there? He requested it because he saw my videos on it. Basically, I could enter in. There's only one option, which is Mega Touch Max. I press the green button and it's gonna launch. You do need a mouse. Uh, I doubt this is going on a touch screen, but essentially it, it could do that. Uh, you will need a mouse for it. So it's actually pretty cool. I have the exit script set up where you hold down the left mouse click, mouse button on the top left corner and it will exit the emulator. So a lot of popularity when it came to uh, Mega Touch emulation, my video went pretty crazy. Uh, and there you go. So if I go to the top left and I hold down the left click for about three to four seconds, it brings me back to the front end. So as you can see, I am right now in LaunchBox. If I have the right controller, make sure that we regain focus. And yes, there you go, I'm back. I just saw the, the thing come up. Yep, awesome. We'll keep it going, my camera's gonna overheat, but that is a-okay. I'm gonna just right now launch LaunchBox. Again, if you want the beauty of Big Box, you will need to buy the license from LaunchBox and you just put it in the main directory. So for example, this drive is called DDR. Uh, what's also pretty cool, it doesn't have to be on the D drive, it could be anywhere. That's kind of what I like. Really depends on how you configure it. Uh, and you could also set up like uh, retro achievements and stuff. So again, you can see here, very basic. So when you get it, it's gonna look like this. Vic, I need the big box. If you try to double click on big box, it's gonna say you need a subscription or you need a license. But as you can see, very simple. You have your Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, DDR, Clone Hero, and such. Awesome. Well guys, there you have it. The first external launch box, big box build going out with Guitar Hero, DDR, DJ Hero, Mega Touch emulation. And yes, I do have Mame Arcade also on this going out. Be sure to stay tuned. I do have a video coming up for Big E Productions, Eric and his custom Guitar Hero guitar that he sent me. I'm really excited to see that. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Did you like my Guitar Hero? Gameplay? Are you better? Imagine playing on expert. Yeah, that ain't happening, but yes. <laughs> Sheesh, Guitar Hero. That's, I, I gotta stop, just stop. <laughs>